Welcome back, America. This is Eli Lowe, your 2040 presidential candidate. And today I have a special message for the white supremacists and neo-Nazis of our country, who I will call whiteies for the sake of simplicity. Hopefully you're not offended. So dear whiteies, I understand you might be feeling incredibly insecure about your racial identity. And as we know, insecurity leads to fear and fear leads to anger and anger leads to hate and hate leads to the dark side. And as much as I hate people that hate people, I might understand a little bit of why you may be feeling so insecure. And it probably comes down to the fact that you're starting to realize something that I personally realized and came to terms a long time ago, that eventually there will be no white people on planet Earth. We're only one Elon Musk solar powered flying car away from borders being completely meaningless, no matter how high our walls are. Uh, and though I have come to terms with that, you might be thinking that for whatever reason, skin pigmentation makes you special, that's worth preserving. So I have a proposition for you. Uh, as you may know, one of the cornerstones of my 2040 election campaign is to build a moon colony or strengthen a moon colony if we already have one. And what I am proposing is that we can create a whiteies colony on the dark side of the moon. Now hear me out. One of the main benefits of this is one, there would be no immigrants because no one would want to go there. Two, there would be no Jews because even though Jews might get confused sometimes and think that they're white, we'll make it very, very clear that Jews aren't white people and therefore cannot join the whitey colony. And lastly, and I think this is really the best part, and hopefully you'll agree, because there's no sun on the dark side of the moon, you will be the whitest people to ever exist in human history. So whatever it is that makes being white special, you'll be even more special. And the standard of living should be quite high because I'm sure the rest of the world would be happy to pay a whitey conservation tax of just a few dollars every year to make sure you guys are happy and stay on the dark side of the moon. So if you're interested, you can sign up today for a small deposit of only $100, I have a form down in the link below and you can donate on my Patreon. So thank you for listening, America. And remember, I always have your best interests at heart. Hey everyone, I just wanted to follow up that video with a little bit of an explanation because I know a lot of people online don't quite understand parody or get humor. Um, and I wanna say that I take racism very, very seriously because being a white man, I understand how easy it is to be racist. And I've tried really hard my whole life not to be racist. And I think I've done a pretty good job. But I was once discriminated against for being a white male. And I was very shocked and very upset, a bit shook up, a bit anxious. And then I realized, oh, that's what it feels like. But times a thousand or times 10,000 and impacting kind of every aspect of your life. So it made me a more empathetic person uh, on the issue of race and the issue of racism. And I really feel that racism is not an easy thing to solve uh, in our country or even throughout the world, but two key elements that have to be emphasized and focused on is education and empathy. So I've included in the links below uh, some video links that I feel did a very good job of trying to report on the situation in Charlottesville, other videos that highlight the problem of racism. Uh, and I even tried to find some material if you personally feel that um, white nationalism or neo-Nazism is somehow justifiable, I try to put in some counter arguments in the links below. So please take the time to review those. 
Um, and I hope that as we move forward, we can be a more united country. Because I also genuinely hate seeing the amount of conflict that exists in our nation. So thank you for listening, America. Please be safe uh, and please be kind. And God bless you.